For those saying to the sick, here's a man that was able to serve Lagos for eight years. Kajudin Olusi, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. A chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and a former National Vice Chairman Southwest of the Defunct Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, Tajuddin Olusi, has tackled those who have been mocking the health of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as Siwaju Bola Ahmed Tunabu, saying that no one is immune to being ill. Tajuddin, who is also the Deputy Speaker to Tunabu in Lagos State, in the Lagos All Progressive Congress, said that Tunimbo has been very active and has been moving from one place to another without showing any sign of fatigue since he won the All Progressive Congress presidential ticket. Since Yakubu declared his intention to join the 2023 presidential race, he has been treated by control versus. Since Tunimbo declared, his intention to join the 2023 presidential race, he has been trailed by controversies from critics and political opponents. And one of those controversies has been centered on his health and his fitness to be the president of Nigeria. But Timber's camp has always reiterated that those claims are founded and that a former Lagos State governor is healed and hearty. In the report, which was made by Daily Post, Olusi said, for those talking about Asiwaju as being ill, here is a man who has been able to serve Lagos State for eight years as governor. Apart from the fact, apart from the fact, he has been able to serve as a leader of the party since the inception of the All Progressive Congress till now. The man has been moving from one part of a country to another since the one, the All Progressive Congress presidential primary, and yet he has not broken down for one day. Speaking further. Olusi said that every individual has one health challenge or another they are battling with, adding that he too has, served, has several health issues in the system that he is dealing with. What do you have to say about this statement from Tajudin Olusi? Now, let me say this. The truth about this is this man, I don't think this man knows where we are coming from. When he served as Lagos State Governor now, they are not the same. They are not the same. When he served as the governor of Lagos State and now, they are certainly not the same. You cannot, come on now. He served as Lagos State governor from 1999 to 2007. I mean, then, then he was healthy, he was strong, he could do anything. Sincerely, had it been the age bracket he was in, eh? When he was the pres, I mean, the, the governor of Lagos State and now that age bracket to be sincere, even when he finished seven Lagos State, even when, you know, he did his two tenor and he, he left. Had it been, it was then. To be very sincere with you, and the way he was doing things then, it's not the same he, the way he's doing things now. Look, give it to him. Zegeban is the father of democracy. He fought for democracy to stand still. When everybody's leg was wobbling, you understand? When everybody was hiding their mouth to talk, make them not go talk, say I say, make my man no go, make them not go talk, make them say my man no smell. Zegeban came out. And he spoke his truth to power. But the thing is, now he does not. He does not even come out to blink an eye even when it is wrong. Even when he be saying, I'm pissing the committer crime. And the people are crying out. So see, I get him before no be property. Person be, before, person be very, very powerful. You, are, you, you used to be a devoted Muslim, you know. But now, what about now? That's the, the most important thing. I get him before, like I said earlier. You know, be property. You know, be property at all. This man is not even seeing it from the angle. This one is not even about being young and being ill. We're talking about somebody who is, is who is not young. Tunumu is not a youth. He's not. Tunumu is 70. 70, you have no business. 70 plus, you have no business. I don't want even to start going into the fact that he's even more than 70. But come on, let's tell ourselves the truth. I've said it until we start looking at Nigeria as a business venture. A business venture in the sense that we need somebody, we need capable ones, we need competent person. And I don't want to think that any of us, after using our youthfulness, when people, they go party, they go club, they go, they go beach, they go everywhere. We were busy, neck deep into making sure we built up a venture, a business venture, an enterprise. And then we now built it up to the point where we say we did there, yeah, then we are now, we are now aging. I will not want to retire. Will you bring in somebody who is aging like you? 
No. In fact, you're going to be look of look for the young, young, very young people. That is why there are places you go to and they tell you you, you should come in with this kind of they give you an age bracket. So if you're twenty six years and 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 below, you know, twenty six and below, they tell you twenty eight and below. Must not be more than thirty years. Why? Because they need you at your peak. Where we say your brain is hot. You know, you bring stop on issues, you come up with issues, you solve problems. But at this point in time for Jagaban, see, let's, let's, not, let's not even flog this issue. He is not fit. There are certain things you want him to do now. He will not be able to do them. We're not just talking about physically, we're talking about mentally. His ability to think, to bring stop on issues. His ability to give, you know, they come to him and they tell him, okay, this is the situation of things. And he tells them, okay, go and do this and this and this. They step out to do it. He himself, he also steps out. Somebody, we want somebody who will give an, a contrast, or what a contrast to people, and he will appear there unannounced. He will just show up. Nobody, because why? In the Wakai own thing. Nobody will know saying he come. He will come and check it. You understand me? That kind of a person. Somebody who is going to say, do this thing, get, inform, get answers to this for me, and will still go back and, you know, pick up his, uh, what's it called, pick up his uh, own tools, and start working at the answer. So that when answers comes in, he can able easily guess. Okay, this people they really work. I be then go do, um, then go download the answers from 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 what they call from Google. So this is it. Okay, me. Okay, please. Nigeria is not Lagos for God's sake. Continue to pay him in kind in Lagos. You have forgotten that Lagos was the federal capital and already built before he became governor. Are you really thinking that Nigerians are fools because they had to his life in 2015 when they marked the bad product that killed Nigeria, that killed Nigeria final, final, Abi, Please, compensate him for doing Lagos good with your daughter. That's the excellence. <laughs> oh my goodness. People are too petty, kind. <laughs> Apart from your points, how many years ago did he rule Lagos State? Since about 16 years now. An already old man by 16 years ago. What can he do after 16 years except to handle Nigeria like Google? That is it. That is it. Hmm. Look at this man. How old was Tunubu when he was elected the governor of Lagos State? And how is he now? The man and Tunubu, who is the eldest? Surely Tunubu is older than him. William Van will send some people to their early grave. If not for how much? Will this old man be, be paid? Would have been paid to vomit this kind of thing? So the truth of the matter is his own even his own his own point is not even standing. Why? Because if he say he did so the Lagos State, he should do the same now. He is not the same age. He is not of the same mental capacity as when he left Lagos State. Let's just face the reality. Alright, on this note we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come maybe next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.